Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Our next guest is a student at Mission High School in San Francisco and on the Gay Straight Alliance Network's NorCal Youth Council. And she uh, she'll tell us about GSA's recent conference, YES, also known as the Youth Empowerment Summit and the ongoing work that they do. Please welcome Rexy Amaral. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, Rexy. Well, tell me about this conference. It just happened, right? So, the, yeah, it just happened. The Youth Empowerment Summit happened on December 14th at Mission High School. And um, the Youth Empowerment Summit is basically a uh, play, uh, youth conference where youth come to get help or resources on how to make their gay straight alliances work and thrive in schools and create safe environments within our schools in San Francisco and all over the Bay Area. How important is that for students, and especially at such a young age? It's important because you want to be yourself and you want to feel safe at school. And when you can't feel safe at school, you can't really focus on your classes. Therefore, you can't really succeed in school. And it, you don't have that same opportunity that other students have mm -hmm. to succeed in be successful so it's those experiences is that what compelled you to get involved with the GSA network definitely uh, I feel that although I go to a very accepting school uh, many other students that I know of uh, they can't be themselves in school and they're worried about being themselves and trying to be themselves so much that they don't focus on their academics and they do bad in academics and they can't succeed as much as any other student does. You're 16 years old? Yes. How do you identify yourself? I identify myself as a woman, as a female, mm -hmm. as a trans female, yeah. A trans female? Yeah. And so what was your experience like in school? Did you feel the same way these students who come to the summits, did you feel that same way? Well, we all have different experiences, but at my, I transferred schools, and at my first school, I didn't really feel that it was accepted to be trans. But once I transferred into my new school, it's the best feeling ever to know that you are who you are, and you're accepted in your school, and they help you academic-wise, mm -hmm. and they just want you to succeed with your academics. So let's talk about uh, the GSA network. You've been involved with it for a Fun. while now, yeah, right? Yeah, I've been what involved do you for do? a while. I am part of the Youth Council. Uh, I helped plan the YES conference, the Youth Empowerment Summit. And that, uh, I first started off with going to an activist camp, which was the best thing on earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? It was, it's a place where you can fully be yourself and learn how to make your school a better place. So knowing the fact that you have that power and you can make a change in schools, it's, it makes you feel good because you feel validated. Mm -hmm. yeah. And quickly, if someone is watching who maybe was, was in a position um, such as you were maybe a couple of years ago, and what would you tell them? Um, I would definitely tell them that just be yourself and don't be afraid to cross those gender like rules like if you want to wear makeup then wear makeup no matter what you were born as if you don't want to follow these rules that society tells us to mm -hmm. then don't it's well, don't be afraid to be yeah, yourself, right? Definitely. All right. Well, Rexy, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so well, for more information about the Gay Straight Alliance Network, just log on to gsanetwork.org. That's gsanetwork.org. And we'll be back with more Bay Sunday coming up after the break. <laughs>